So welcome to the coolest tutorial of Python. This is Bitfumes and I am your host Sarthak and in this episode we are going to learn about the bitwise operations. But what is bitwise operation? As the name suggests bitwise that means we are going to operate on numbers with bitwise and if you don't know bit think about it like a binary and if you don't know binary think about it as the smallest unit which computer can understand which is 0 or 1 either 0 or 1 so let's let's work on something and see how it's going to work so i will say first num is having value 2 but in binary 2 is written as 1 0 and to complete four digit values i will just add 0 0 1 0 okay so second num so second and num is equal to let's say 4 okay so here i will say 4 and 4 in binary is written as 100 0, 0. and to complete four digit yeah 0100 0, 0. and the first bitwise operator i'm going to tell you is and so here we have first num and second num so what will be the result of this statement so let's work on this together okay and in the last episode we have seen that there is a logical operator called and what and will do and will give you true if both of the statement or both of the values are true so here 0 0 both has value 0 so obviously the result will be 0 second 0 and 1 0 and 1 so 1 is false so this means result will be false same here 1 and 0 so there is a 0 false so final result will be false and at the last also false so you can see the result is looking like a 0 exactly let's run it and see the magic run it and yeah you are getting 0 here so what if I change something so let's use 7 and 7 has value of triple 1 okay and let's work on this and we will then see the result so 0 0 is 0 0 1 is also 0 but 1 1 is 1 yeah that's we know because 1 1 means true and true so result will be true and 0 and 1 is 0 so result will looking like this is this one it's 2 okay so let's run and yes you can see the result is 2 so this means this and operator is working like this similarly we have or operator and to use the or operator we just use pipe sign and it just give or so 0 or 0 0 but 0 or 1 will result as 1 1 and 1 is 1 and 0 or 1 is again giving 1 so it's just like 7 okay so result we are expecting 7 which is here so this is cool after this there is a new operator which is just going to use caret here and what it will do it's like a XOR and if you don't know about XOR it's just going to result true only if one is true other is false so if both of the statement are false result will be false if both of the result will be true even after that the result has to be false so now the result will be like 0 0 false false is false true false that means one is true this is false now the result will be true but even if true and true one and one the result has to be zero that is why it is x or and 0 and 1 that means true and false is true so XOR result true only when one is true other is false okay only one is true and other is false so this is statement expecting so 101 in binary is 5 so let's run this and yes you can see we are getting 5 here and the last important bitwise operator is just like not it will just invert the bitwise operation so for that we just need one variable and now 
if I use this sign, which is just like a wave <laughs> sign, okay, what this will result? Okay, we are using first number. First number is 0010. So inverting bitwise, not for bitwise, not not for bitwise. So first one is zero. So the result will be one, then zero. So result will be again one, but we have one here. So invert it zero. And at the last we have zero. So inversion will be one. And one one zero one is actually minus three. So let's uh, run this. And yeah, you can see minus three we have. So in that way, bitwise operation works. So let's move on to the next episode. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please go and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification. Share these videos with your developer friends and don't forget to like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.